Here we are at the River Kekel in West Cumbria and we're here at the end of a five year in the making river restoration project. This entire river over a two and a half kilometre section was lined with thick black plastic. It was done in the early 1990s as part of a, uh, a post mining restoration project. But unfortunately, uh, although the best of intentions were probably taken at the time, it didn't really work as a solution. And that was left with a very heavily eroded, very sort of broken river system with this awful black plastic lining. Now we removed something like 180 tonnes of plastic, but also we know from uh, working with the University of Salford uh, near Manchester, that the uh, plastic itself was breaking down and we have sediment um, sampling further downstream of here and we think something like 500 kilograms a year of plastic microplastics were being deposited in the riverbed and presumably would have been washed further downstream. In order to take the plastic out we had to use large uh, excavators to dig out the riverbank, pull these huge sheets of black plastic uh, away, uh, take them off site and recycle them and then when we restored the site, we laid in some of the stone that was here, but we also imported thousands and thousands of tons of cobbles, gravels and boulders to mimic a natural system. So this is one of the more dynamic and interesting sections of the Kikul. Behind me, the river had already eroded quite a lot of the plastic out. Um, and so we didn't need to dig out the riverbanks to get at the plastic. But in other places, we've diverted the river pulled all of the material out of the way, like the stones and gravel, uh, which allowed the excavators to pull the plastic out, remove it, and then replace those boulders and stone back into the riverbed. Here we've got quite a large uh, pool, quite deep, quite wide. Then it goes into a, a fairly dynamic uh, riffle section. There's a lot of uh, material, cobbles, etc., that were here already that we've then replaced. And that means the river is already now finding out how it wants to flow and it's starting to create its own path downstream. And what we're expecting is over time, although this has clearly uh, been, been worked on and been renovated by man, it should become much more natural looking uh, as the vegetation on the riverbanks grows. And uh, we're also doing a lot of tree planting this winter to help restore the site and give it uh, a fighting chance of being a much more natural river kegel. One of the important remits of this whole project was to provide a really natural river system uh, post removal. So we worked very closely with the designers at ACOM and Aquios to make sure that as much uh, habitat improvement was gained during these restoration works. We didn't just want to remove the plastic, leave the river alone and walk away. We've created a lot of features like gravel bars, uh, uh, rapids, riffles, pools, glides, to mimic what you would find in an otherwise healthy river system. And we expect in time more of these systems to develop so that when we visit this site in a few years time, when the trees have re-established uh, and the vegetation is grown back, we should find a much more dynamic, healthy system, especially for the species that we know are in the river, the salmon, the trout, the lamprey and the eels.